Welcome back. It is summertime, and there are a lot of events going on around town, and one of those is Madison's Meet and Eat. And joining us from the Parks Department is Laura Whitmore. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about this event. Yeah, Madison Meet and Eat is a, a collective of food carts that are brought to a couple of neighborhoods, three different neighborhoods throughout the summer, and it really is just what the, the name of the title is, Meet and Eat. So we want neighbors and friends and and people to come and just gather together, break bread, and enjoy some food from um, the local food carts. Now, I was at one last year, so this is the second year. This is the second year. However, this year we've expanded it. Last year we were only at the Meadowood location. Um, this year we're going to be expanding. Uh, we are also at the Meadowood location for uh, eight weeks on Thursdays. But beginning in July, we're going to be for four weeks at Villager Mall on the south side. And then in August, on Tuesdays, we'll be going to the north side at St. Paul's Lutheran Church, and we'll have the meet and eat there. So why is it important to expand it to those different neighborhoods? Well, we've chosen those neighborhoods. Um, they've actually come forth to us as well because they are, they're kind of considered food deserts, and that is what the purpose of our Madison Meat and Eat is to bring these food carts to areas, to neighborhoods that are, are considered food deserts. They don't have a lot of restaurants or a lot of opportunities for different food. Um, bring them to these neighborhoods and and showcase the neighborhood and that folks can that this would be a really viable place to maybe start a restaurant as well. And what's some of the feedback that you've gotten? People love it. Um, it is it is exactly the way we designed it. People are coming out. They're coming with their neighbors. They're coming and hanging out for the evening, enjoying some new food that they hadn't tried before. Um, a lot of people are driving by. As they drive by, they're like, what, what the heck is going on? I'm going to stop by. And so they'll stop by the next week and enjoy some food. And it's not really only for the people who live in those neighborhoods. It's mm -hmm. for people, like you said, driving by. We have heard about it it's really open for anybody exactly exactly so people can um, we're you know we're certainly encouraging people to walk or bike or drive by and and come there's limited parking so hopefully people will be green as they come to the meet and eat but it's for everyone to come and enjoy so what are some of the foods that people can get what is some of the entertainment that people can see yes a lot of what we're doing right now is, is this food carts are normally downtown um, so a lot of the ethnic food carts so you can try all different kinds um, all of the there's there's so many I don't have time to, to name them all but we have a lot of ethnic food carts and then as time goes by, it's mostly meeting your neighbors, but certainly I wouldn't doubt that as time goes by, we'll have some music. Um, all of that is kind of still in, into play right now. So what? Uh, when is the next one? The next one we have um, Thursdays at Meadowood. So that started a couple of weeks ago and every Thursday except for July 4th. So, this, um, so every Thursday except for July 4th until the end of August. And then again, starting July 9th on Tuesdays in Villager Mall for four weeks. And then August 6th, Tuesday. Tuesdays at St. Paul's Lutheran Church. And give me the times one more time. 5 to 7.30. Laura Whitmore, thank you so much for coming thank you. in. Thank you. And if you'd like more information about Madison's Meet and Eat, we put a link on NBC15's homepage. We'll be right back.